to tell me that you love me Don't make me a fool Hello, Just this is Pete and welcome to video number 6 in the series of 30 plus that I'm doing to promote the album Silhouette, Daphne's song performed by her friends a uh, double album that I co-produced with Alfonso Rodinas in tribute to my late wife Daphne Amosakis who passed away in 2016 uh, today's video concerns Funky Jen's rendition of Daphne's song Let's Pretend. Uh, today I'm standing outside the waterfront, formerly known as On the Waterfront Cafe. It's a bar on the promenade in Venice uh, Beach, California. And you can see the ocean over there <laughs> um, from the uh, patio. And Daphne and I used to come down here a lot to have uh, some Hefeweizen and beer and uh, to see the sunset into the ocean and uh, enjoy the vibe down here at Venice Beach. When we were at UCLA, we particularly we came down here and when our, kind of the first, you know, when our relationship was young, we used to come down here a lot more uh, in those days. Um, Trivia question, perhaps someone can answer uh, the question, but uh, which one of Daphne's songs does she name check uh, the Waterfront Cafe? Um, I want to give you the answer, you can uh, leave your answer in the comments below. Um, the reason I'm here though is not really because of the bar and the beer and the sunset into the ocean, but um, because on one such occasion when we were down here, uh, Daphne and I walked back to Santa Monica, over that way, to the pier and um, after the sun had set and it was uh, a beautiful evening and I remember it was the first time that I had told her that I loved her and that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. So um, that to me is the reason why I'm down here and why I'm putting this venue in among these intros to the videos to kind of uh, follow the timeline of the Daphne and Pete relationship. Um, today's video is of the song Let's Pretend. That song appears originally on Daphne's album Charlie's Lonely Sunday and I think it's a beautiful song. It's one that Daphne felt was probably at the time her most sophisticated song and that she really felt that she reached a, a new level as a songwriter uh, when she wrote it and she performed it. As a result she had you know, very positive feelings towards this song and she played it a lot at the time and she continued to play it all the way up until uh, she passed away and it's one of her favourite songs. Um, it's a kind of, uh, has a kind of uh, sassiness and sophistication a bit of a sexiness, a bit of a kind of groove, and um, although her version is, I think, really good, I think the vocal that Jennifer Gibbons, aka Funky Jim, does on this song, on this compilation album, tribute album, I think uh, it excels Daphne's version. I think Jen gives it the right amount of sassiness, the right amount of uh, powerful woman, who really uh, wants her man. And I think she captures that vibe uh, perfectly on this song, such that I think her version, I would say the definitive version of the song, uh, I rate it that highly. I'm not putting down Daphne's version, I think Daphne's version is great, but I think Funky Jim's version of, of this song on this record is, is just, she captures the, the spirit of the way the song is supposed to be sung and um, congratulations to her for doing that. I think it's wonderful and I think you should check out the song. Uh, Jennifer is a friend that Daphne and I met at Cinema Bar. Pretty much everyone on this record is someone we met at the Cinema Bar. And um, she wasn't a... She was more of a music fan and not particularly a singer or songwriter or performer. But she did get up on the stage every now and then. I'm not exactly sure which shows, but... Uh, and she would do a song with the band. Or, and Daphne and I 
always were amazed at how how good she was as a singer and how powerful her voice was and how, what kind of stage presence she had. So I'm really happy that later on uh, she recorded a, an album, maybe two, under the name Funky Jim. And um, you should check those those records out. She's, uh, as I said, a very uh, good singer, powerful, powerful voice, and I think she uh, comes across on this version of Let's Pretend. Um, this song was recorded by Alfonso at Kevin Jarvis's studio in Venice. I guess not too far from here, and uh, it features. <laughs> Daphne's backing band, Mark Sanfilippo on drums, Jeff Ruckness on bass, and Peter Cavanaugh on guitars, and yeah, Jennifer on the vocals. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy seeing the video, the interview, and the video footage that I'm going to edit into this video. Okay, enough of me uh, rambling nonsensically. <laughs> um, okay, hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy the song. Check out. Jennifer's uh, other songs and check out the other videos in this series. We're, we're getting there now. I'm hoping to kind of uh, edit a few of these videos and get them out in quick succession. So look forward to the next video in the series. Coming soon. Okay, here it is. Funky Jen's version of Daphne's song, Let's Pretend. Okay, bye. The only thing I was thinking is I could play lighter, you know, if, we don't, if it sounds too heavy or whatever. Yeah. Because it's sort of like... But I just want to see if it sounds like I need to play lighter. Because yeah. I don't know these symbols and stuff. You know what I mean? It ain't my stuff. Oh. oh, that sounds nice. Sorry, I came in halfway through the <laughs> first verse or something. I was trying to listen, I couldn't hear anything through the door. No need to tell me that you love me. Don't make me a fool. Just hold me close tonight. Don't even try to make a promise with your sweet smoke and I don't remember the first time I met her, but I know it was at the cinema bar, <laughs> where we all meet, where everyone's met everybody. But I imagine over the course of time, well, I know specifically, uh, it was one of the Christmas shows that Sarah Stanley and Rich McCauley pulled together. Mm -hmm. And so we'd repeatedly see each other at these shows. And then finally, when the culmination of, you know, 30 artists singing their Christmas mm -hmm. songs came out, um, she delightfully brought, what is it, the melt, mel Melophonium. The melophonium. Mm -hmm. And it was hilarious. And so we're all dying because she's this tiny little creature with this huge instrument playing it with, you know, mastery. She just mastered that instrument. Um, that's the memory specifically that I remember going, this is this woman is amazing. So I so we've built it slowly over time, but I don't remember the first day that I met her. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> just wondering. As the warmth from your belly becomes the warmth in your head. You let out a yawn. Oh, it's time for bed. <laughs> From deep in your slumber, you awake to a noise. And then another sound sounds like a big bag of toys. And you think, no way. That story is not real. And what did you think of Daphne as a guitarist and songwriter? And oh, she was brilliant. Um, just a brilliant guitarist. And you really, at least I, you'd go see her shows. You'd see her at the Christmas shows. And she always gave such a wonderful, emotional, delicate, yet powerful performance. But once you get into the albums and you start going through her entire repertoire, um, it was really hard for me to decide what song to sing at the tribute show um, mm -hmm. initially because her songs are so good and um, 
and as a songwriter, someone at least who writes down emotions and puts it to music, um, you, you realize, I'm like, I can't sing that one. I'm like, because that's so good. It's so jazzy and so ridiculously um, hard to tackle. So it's amazing to see how she she mastered all of these different genres. Mm -hmm. so she's a fantastic writer. Yeah, Tango, mandolin solo. <laughs> Can I pronounce that right? Mandolin. 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 Don't tell me you'll be here tomorrow. About the song that you chose so the song today that I chose is uh, called let's pretend and I think what drew me to it um, not only the, the the tango but the fact that um, it it seems at least for Daphne it was something that that was super sexy <laughs> and it was this really sort of come hither song and mm -hmm. I really like that I'd never you know seen that side of her so that was something that drew me to that song um, and it was the one that I could do because all of her others were really difficult. No need to tell me that you love me.
disguise I don't think anyone will notice If we just disappear I'd never tell a soul Kiss me my darling Oh, I think it went really well. The, the band is amazing. Um, she certainly surrounded herself, you know, with masters of their own field. Um, guitars, drums, bass, all of it. So I think it went well. I think we hopefully, you know, did her some honor today. Mm -hmm. um, and just again, being just very honored that you asked me to do this. Oh, of course. Yeah. We're going to do a song off of my latest record called Charlie's Lonely Sunday. And the name of this track is, or tune is called Let's Pretend. And for those of you who don't have a CD, I have one available with me this evening, and I would more than happily sell one to you. They're $10, but I'm willing to negotiate too, so if you don't have enough money, you'll be fine. All right. God loves a haggler. So tough times. <laughs> Recession price, okay, two to five dollars for... 50 cents. That's right. If you guys have any quarters, I can get like a couple of 50 cents. You know, I could do laundry more, so whatever. All right. This is a serious song. One, two.
she had so, she still does, has so much spirit that she was a tiny person with this huge presence. So every time she walked into the room, it was like instantly lifted. Uh, no matter where we were, if it was a small space like the cinema bar or a large backyard at a party. Um, it was just a, a gift to know her because of her magic. She was a magical creature, still is, still with us. you love me don't make me a fool just hold me close tonight don't even try to make a promise with your sweet spoken lies I won't let you Truly do believe in me.